exactly what I'm saying. Right? Now we're doing it. Yeah, now we're doing it. Okay. You ready for the adventure, Mike? The gate opens now, mate. The okay. gate opens on the great, the great drive. <laughs> <laughs> we're going out go. into the wild. <laughs> well, not necessarily. We go up a few mountains. A bit cold. A bit hot. A bit cold again. <laughs> Bring your thermals? No. no. I'm, I'm wearing a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> Wooden Bong, which is in northern New South Wales, and Kilcoy here. Kilcoy is quite famous for the Yowie. We've got a statue down there in the park. Mm -hmm. The last sighting of the Yowie here was in the early 80s in Sandy Creek, about 15k outside of outside of uh, Kilcoy here. Yeah. I guess you could say the Yowie is a little bit like the Yeti. Yeah. Uh, there's a few others big around foot. the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is Kilcoy's Yowie town. The football team's called Yowie. We've got the Yowie Motel over there so it's, our, yeah. it's our bit of a scene here but yeah apparently it's been seen here ever since late 1800s yeah hmm. nice and there's a statue in the park at one is there yeah down here in the it's actually yowie park at all yeah there's a wooden statue down there in yowie park we might uh, we might go and have you a look at it yeah take a photo of it yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, uh, that's what put Kilcoy on the map yeah yeah apart from the meatworks and the timber yeah yeah the yowie <laughs> side Oh, that's what was when we passed when we came into town. That's a meatworks. Isn't yeah, it? that's huge. Eh? It is a big meatworks. One of the biggest in Queensland. Yeah. It's mainly all export. Okay. It's okay. all frozen, boxed. A lot of it goes to the states. That beef there. Oh really? Yeah, we get beef, we get Australian beef in the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It's big. I think the, most of it to USA, Singapore, and China. Okay, and it's all local beef like, from, from this area. Or no, no, they they actually it's grown all out West Queensland. Yeah. Then they truck it into the. Um, the, uh, the no, the um, feedlots. Oh yes, okay. And yeah. they finish okay. it off on grain for for probably a month or so. Yeah. And then it comes to the meatworks. Okay. Sort of fatten it up on grain. Generally, what type of cattle is it? Oh, everything. A lot of Brahmin. Yeah. A lot of drought master. Yeah. Um, and, uh, a lot of um, what's that black one? Gets around now. Uh, Angus. Yeah, yeah we have black getting, Angus too. Yeah. Become pretty popular now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, whatever they're growing out there. Yeah. And they bring it here. And they bring it here. And they're doing about 1,200 head a day here. So, yeah, they've got, they've got quite, wow. quite a workforce out there. And it's actually all export. 95%. They yeah. do supply a few of the local butchers, but no, yeah. it's, all, it's all frozen cartons. Yes, yes. And off to the States. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then you guys have a little seafood. Uh... Yeah, we've been here quite a few years. <laughs> yeah, we sell the seafood. Do you see many muddies these days? In season we do. Yeah. Yeah, you get plenty of mud traps, but in the winter time it's too cold now, they're all stuck yeah. up their holes, see? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you don't get much crabs this time of year.
Mike and I made it to Warwick, Australia. And this is our room. And we're staying above a bar in an old hotel that was built in 1917 in Australia. And so we just got in and we're on our 14 day road trip through Australia. So obviously you guys will see more of Mike, but it's been a great ride so far since we left uh, Bribey Island. And now we're in work and more to come. Hey guys, you can see a little better now <laughs> of the outside balcony part here where we stayed last night. And the little town we stayed in Warwick last night. And uh, so now we are on day two of our trip and we're heading out. So um, today should be another exciting day. Yeah. We'll get back to you guys soon. The next size of the train. Yes, day number two. Yep. Walking down the hallway of the most haunted hotel and pub in Warwick. <laughs> See ya. Wasn't a bad hotel. Built 1917. Now we gotta get out of here. Got it. Pretty big hotel, too. <coughs> so where are we going to, Mike? Uh, today our destination is Tamworth which is the home of country music in Australia. And who, what was his name? Sorry? What was his name? Whose name? The guy you were telling me about that's over there. Uh, there's a number of artists there, but uh, we hope to see the, the Hall of Fame, um, which is numerous artists dating back through the colonial days of Australia. Yeah. Um, to name a few, Slim Dusty, Reg Lindsay. Reg Lindsay. <laughs> Name, <laughs> namesake. What was the guy with the saddle shot that sang the song That's, about the uh, saddle shot? Peter Allen. He's, Peter uh, Allen, yeah. We go through his town, actually, which is Tenterfield. Oh, okay. And the song he sang, uh, which is made famous, um, was um, the title of the song is The Tenterfield Saddler. Tenterfield Saddler. That's what it was. It was the saddle shop. <laughs> that was his dad, was the saddler. And the saddle shops in Tenderfield, we'll see that today. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, day. Yeah. I'm just going to G in our, our destination before we go and have a brief, brief breakfast. Now we're at Peter Allen's dad's tannery shop or saddle saddlery shop. Yeah, saddler shop. And Peter Allen was a famous singer for Australia. Um, back in I believe the mid-1980s we'll ask Mike here and see. And I'll give you guys more information on it. Mike, when was uh, when was Peter Allen? Was it the nineteen? Uh, um, mid to no, no, about nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty. Nineteen eighty. Okay, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah. yeah. This was his dad's. His dad's saddlery shop. So he made uh, horse saddles and stuff in this shop, and so Peter Allen was from uh, this area here, which is Tanner Tanner Tannerfield. Tannerfield. Yeah. He was married to Liza Minnelli. Oh, he was married to Liza Minnelli, yeah. <laughs> okay. This was the 
building that his grandfather operated. Yeah. And uh, because of, like, Peter's life itself was, was pretty hectic because his, uh, his father was a returned soldier. Okay, yeah. Uh, from the Second World War with, with what we now call post-traumatic stress. Okay, yeah. So he was a yeah. violent man and the alcohol yeah. caused a fair bit of stress in his life and, yeah, and Peter was, was yeah. nine, a lot of the time, Peter was the target of the, of the abuse. Of the yeah. abuse. Yeah. And so George Walner, who was the saddler, yeah. had a lot of friends that would go to Armadale mm -hmm. and they'd bring young Peter up here and to, for Peter to spend his time with his grandfather and that's where the legacy of the song came from. Oh, nice. So he had that sort of a connection with his grandfather and then that song on there, oh, that's the, the, first, there. the first verse tells you about his grandfather, yeah. the second verse tells you about his father, the third verse tells you about Peter himself. Oh, okay. And how it all, how it all linked in together. Nice. That's a wonderful story and a beautiful song to listen to. Yeah, yeah, he played it for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah back yeah, in the house. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you for sharing that. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> and at this moment heading for the Tamworth Country Hall of Music Museum. Well yeah, the country country music yeah. Australian Country Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. And we were gonna go to uh, Safari Park but we have rain. <laughs> yeah, all over the place. And so they're closed. So we may go there tomorrow because we won't be too far away. Hopefully this rain lets up a little bit, although they need the rain over here in Australia because a lot of the farmers are going through drought situation right now, so they're loving this rain. So we'll see what today has in store.
had a good time. Astronomy capital of Australia. <laughs> Kunabara brand. Kunabara brand, I think is what it's called. <laughs> and so we're at the information center just to take a look. Mike already beat me once. So now he's trying to beat me twice. Oh, uh, what was that? You can send me back in here. <laughs> yeah. Nipple it. Look at that, he wins. <laughs> Mike's the winner. <laughs> hey guys, so here. I am in mine and Mike's room that we had on day three. And this was the bathroom. It was nice. The shower was very nice, actually. Had nice water pressure. And there's the sink. And there's me. <laughs> and this is the room. And it's a very nice room. The hotel was very nice. Had a restaurant and a bar up there. Um, although we missed... <laughs> We missed dinner last night. We got in late, and we didn't realize that it went off at 8.30. .30. So we just missed um, dinner, so we had to go down to the Domino's Pizza. So now that's, like, sitting in my stomach. <laughs> it was very good, but it's just sitting in my stomach now. So anyway, we are off on day four now, I believe it is. And we are going to go see uh, this uh, satellite uh, dish in an area that was involved in the Apollo landings on the moon. Apparently they uh, transferred information from the moon to this satellite and then from this satellite to Houston, I believe, or possibly Hawaii and then Houston. But so it should be a really cool day. So we'll get back to you guys when we get there. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and we're heading out. <laughs> 